Thank you, Cardinal DiNardo. Um, I'm very sorry that due to disability, I'm not able to travel to Houston to speak with you and this group in person. But on behalf of my son, Maddie J.T. Stepanek, I thank you. I thank you for this recognition and this amazing award. Maddie was almost 14 years old when he died. He was young. He was more than a youth, but he was clearly not yet an adult. But even though he was young, he was a leader and he was a source of inspiration. Throughout his very brief life, Maddie offered us a message, a message that he said was placed in his heart by God a message of heart songs and purpose, a message of hope and peace. He shared this message through his books of poetry and essays. He shared it through speeches. And most of all, he shared this message through his everyday conversations. He also moved from attitude to action with this message as he taught CCD and served as a lector, as he volunteered as an ambassador for a number of organizations that tend to the basic needs of people around the world and as he engaged people of all ages and all abilities and all aspirations all around the world. By sharing this message placed in his heart, Maddie reminded each of us to reach inside of ourselves, reach inside and choose hope and peace, reach inside and celebrate our heart song, our unique reason for being. Most of all, reach inside and know that God is with us in all life moments. I was very proud of Maddie's living, his way of being. I was proud of how he reflected God's presence in both the good times and the tough times. And now I'm proud of Maddie's legacy, or the essence of his existence, as he would call it. But because of his life's brevity, having only 14 years on earth, his impact and the message that he shared, these things could quickly fade away due to the youthfulness. How wonderful. How amazing that the National Catholic Partnership on Disability has created this award to specifically recognize youth and young adults. I'm certain that Maddie would be humbly proud to accept this honor. And I also think that Maddie would close out his acceptance remarks by calling each of us to move from attitude to action, because that's just who and how Maddie was. I think Maddie would ask each of us to move forward from this moment. He would say, move forward inspired and empowered. Move forward making choices that allow us to now become the source of inspiration, to become the reflection of God's presence in any and every moment, and to then empower other people to realize and celebrate a simple but profound message, a message that states hope is real, peace is possible, and life is worthy. Thank you very much, and God bless. And I want to thank all of you for this award as well. And uh, on behalf of the Maddie Stepanek Guild, of which I'm a member, we're exploring uh, his cause for sainthood. And he certainly lived an exemplary life. And we thank you for honoring him and, uh, and Jenny as well. So thank you all.